In breaking news, Ukraine's military says Russia has targeted port infrastructure in the city of Odessa with cruise missiles. They say two strikes hit the Black Sea port and another two were shot down by air defense. It comes a day after both countries signed a deal brokered by Turkey and the United Nations to reopen the ports to resume grain exports. The Ukrainian foreign ministry is now calling on both the UN and Turkey to make sure Russia holds up its end of the deal. Al Jazeera correspondent Tamir Al Smadi is in Odessa. We saw missiles with the naked eye. We're talking about two missiles until now, and we've been able for the first time since our arrival here to trace these missiles. They were really close, just above us. A missile passed through here, another passed through there. The cameraman is able to show the picture of the smoke from the anti-aircraft rockets here on the Black Sea shore. Until this moment, we heard four explosions in more than one location. Here where we are standing, one minute before we went on air. We can also hear the silent alarms in the area. They went off right before the Ukrainian anti-aircraft missiles targeted what it says are Russian rockets. OK, let's bring up a map to take a look, a map rather, to take a look at this. So up here, you can see this is Odessa. Odessa port is one of the largest ports in the Black Sea Basin. So it is crucial for Ukraine. And of course, the Black Sea is where these grain exports need to go through to ease the impending global food crisis. Ukraine and Russia, as we've said, signed deals to allow the exports of grain through the Black Sea. With Turkey, you can see down here Istanbul at the bottom, which controls the all-important Bosphorus to inspect ships to ease concerns of Russia about weapons smuggling. Well, joining me now from Odessa is Hannah Schillist, Director of Security Studies Program at the security think tank Ukrainian Prism. Thank you very much for joining us. So you, you heard these explosions or you saw what happened. Tell us what you saw. Yes, definitely, because I've been in my summer house just on the beach, so I saw both the work of the air defense and of the uh, Russian missiles. As for now, we already have confirmed uh, four missiles, two of which have been uh, uh, targeted by the Ukrainian counterattack, and two, unfortunately, uh, fall in Odessa port. And you need to understand that Odessa port is just in the downtown, in the historical downtown of the city. So it's extremely dangerous from all uh, points of view. And you were absolutely right that it happened less than 24 hours after yesterday the grain deal was signed, where three Ukrainian ports were named. And Odessa port is one of three. Two others are just 40 kilometers uh, aside. Um, and uh, well, Russians targeted, as far as we know, already exactly the grain terminal. So it's been, as for me, is real bullying of the international community and neglecting of that agreement that been signed yesterday. Mm. I mean, there's 20 million tons of grain from last year's harvest ready to, to be shipped out. Um, so how do you think Ukraine is, is likely to respond to this? I mean, uh, it's already said that this is Putin spitting in the face of the UN and Turkey. What do you think is going to happen next? Ukraine is trying uh, since March to export at least some amount of that grains to the world market by land and railway, but capacity is comparing to what we could export by sea to the what we can export by uh, land, it is one to five. So as for now, probably one million tons per month, that's what the road and the rail um, uh, routes can help us, because over in Romania, Poland, uh, other neighboring countries are trying to help. So as for now, first of all, we definitely need the official explanations from the side of the Russian uh, um, side. And what is uh, even more important, that yesterday the agreement was signed by the Ministry of Defense. So they are totally responsible for the yesterday agreement and for today's uh, uh, missiles. It's not Ukraine is claiming it is Russian missiles. It's definitely not Romanian or Turkish missiles against uh, uh, Odessa support. And uh, we know uh, it's already confirmed by the official side that it's been caliber missiles. The so Russians used a very high precise missile, so they knew exactly what they're targeting and why. Mm, we haven't heard from Russia yet. I'll get you to stand by uh, there for us, Ms. Shalest, because I want to take a look at, at what that deal actually was or is. So, so a joint Turkish and UN control center is to be set up in Istanbul. It will control all the deliveries of grain. Ukrainian vessels are meant to guide the grain shipments through mined waters in and out of port. Russia has promised not to attack the cargo ships. It did make that promise. And, and Turkey and the UN will ex inspect those ships. However, because Russia is worried that they'll be used to smuggle weapons, that's why they're going to be inspected. 
Uh, so the agreement will last four months and will be renewed automatically. So, Hannah Schellest, do you think that is the, the end of that deal then? Uh, as for now, we hope that no, uh, because we understand that it will be the punch not only against the United Nations, but also against Turkey. And Turkey invested a lot of effort to make this deal happen. And also, I would like to clarify you a little bit that joint center is not just UN Turkish. Russian representatives also will be there. So Russia received the access for inspection. They cannot claim that they are not allowed to check what is on the ship. The only thing that these inspections will be happening in Turkey, in Bosporus. So their ships, they inspectors will not um, be allowed at the territorial waters of Ukraine. But still, that is quite a significant compromise from Ukrainian side. As for now, uh, everybody were talking that in 10 days the first ship can go. I don't know from where this number uh, of days uh, appeared. But theoretically, we definitely need to see the establishment of the center, the appointment of the inspectors, the setting of the routes and procedures, and the question of the demining or at least the minesweeper ships of the uh, third countries that is written in the agreement that will accompany the ship. And it is not Ukrainian ships. It can be the ship of any country under any flag. The only thing is that they are coming to three Ukrainian ports to export Ukrainian mm. uh, grains and ammonia because the deal was a little bit wider. It's uh, uh, more about other types of the food and ammonia because that is fertilizer. All right. Hey, thank you very much uh, for your time there, Hannah Schellest, Director of Security Studies uh, Program at the Security Think Tank Ukrainian Prism. Uh, well, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov both hailed the grain deal on Friday, saying it would mean positive outcomes for both people uh, in the region and abroad. These are the incomes of farmers, the entire agricultural sector and the state budget. These are jobs. These are funds for next year's sowing. There's a chance here to reduce the seriousness of a food crisis caused by Russia and prevent a global catastrophe, a famine that could lead to political chaos in many countries, particularly those that help us. Thanks to the efforts of the Russian delegation, it was possible to maintain the comprehensive, depoliticized nature of the agreement, thereby ensuring the maximum possible movement of grain towards developing countries. Russia will continue to be faithful to its obligations in this area. The use of food by the United States and its allies for their geopolitical interests is unacceptable and inhumane.